Hello. All right, yeah, we're on now. Um, I'm not sure what we were doing uh, last time. Oh yeah, I had this mission. Okay, I have to remember to do that. And then when is... Um, not armory. Oh yeah, it is armory. Wounded for 10 days. Uh, Guts is... My voice may sound a bit different because I ate some spicy food before this, so <clears throat> just bear with me for some time. Um, yeah, only 4 HP is gone for Guts, so I think I'm fine taking on this mission. Uh, yeah. That is it. Let's just head out. Not taking a ton of grenades, but it should be enough for what we have. Let's go. I would like uh, the Reaper, uh, Raven, to get a promotion, and I would also like, uh, you know, Guts as well to get a promotion. How many turns do we have to do this? Okay, so there's a Andromedon and two codexes up there. Wow, there's a lot of things that I see. Okay, so apparently they already have vision of us, even though we just spawned in. I don't get this. Why does it just do this? So are we still concealed? I think we are. Um, I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna get revealed if I go... Yeah, there's a lot of places where I'll get revealed if I go anywhere. But I would like to... Um, destroy this cover here. Because we get free roll or free attacks on the Andromedon, basically. There we go. I mean, we already were revealed, so it doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, can I dominate you, actually? Let's try. I should have probably checked this before, um... Yeah before doing the explosion, because I lost a lot of armor uh, by doing that. Like, three ticks of armor, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Let's grapple up. Actually, no, let's not grapple up. Let's just climb up. Uh, where are the codex is at? Okay, there's one over there. I mean, yeah. Sh uh, should I run and gun, actually? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see what I can do with King. This is squad site, no matter what, so... Yeah, I will move over to the back. I need to extract the VIP. Where's the VIP? Oh, in that truck. Okay. It's 100% chance. Let's take the shot. It has a high chance of critting as well, because it's flanked. Uh, but no crit, sadly. So they're going to split up, which kind of sucks. That's actually fine to deal with. Oh, wait, never mind. It's high ground. I thought it was low ground. Okay. That makes it slightly harder, but it still shouldn't be that bad. Let's see. What do I do? <clears throat> I would like to take the shot at that, uh... Thing, but I won't, uh... I don't have any grenadiers, I believe. I have two claymores, but that'll be for later on. Ideal thing is to kill both these codexes, but I don't know how I can do that.
Let's see. Do you have... No. Who still has two actions? Oh, you can only see... Hmm. Okay, let's take a shot at this and see what happens. If we kill, then it's combat protocol. What you do? Okay, good. Then let's just combat protocol the other one to guarantee uh, the kill. We want uh, Adonis. Um, I can't remember what the what his nickname was. To not take any uh, any damage because we want him to keep constantly training. Okay, so we do see uh, more enemies over here. Ooh, that's really good Claymore area. I mean, I could uh, remote start as well, but like, you know, I would kill the VIP. So that would be... That would, yeah, I shouldn't do that, is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna hold off for a bit before uh, doing that, though. Ooh, Acid Bomb, this is really good. Uh, I want to put myself in a place where I don't uh, reveal any enemies yet. So it'll be... Oh! Well then. Okay, I guess you're not going up. I want to just keep moving... Okay, wait, actually... Fury can go into concealment and sprint up. And King is good to kill zone for the next turn. So where should he run up? Actually, maybe he shouldn't kill zone. I don't know. Yeah, right here is good for Guts to stand. And then Loki can go... Oh, wait, first we need Cypher to move so Loki can climb up the ladder. And then now, uh, Loki can move up to this location. Oh, what can we hack? Oh, let's check this first to see what, uh, see what there is. <laughs> uh, small cache of intel or large cache? Let's just get the small cache. I think we would have gotten the large cache, just barely, but it's better to just, you know... Guarantee something, then have the negative effect happen. Or at least that's what I think. Mm. And then I guess just long watch. Okay, so they are moving. So good thing I did not throw the claymore yet. Oh, really? That gets in range? Maybe I shouldn't have gone long watch then. Because, yeah, it's squad site, so, like, I just kind of screwed myself over. Let's see how far they spread, though. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. Okay, yeah, you don't get revealed. Alright, that's fine. Um, What can I claim more? Hmm. You see, now that I kind of did that, this isn't really that good. 74% chance of the Elite Lancer, is that worth? Yeah, I think... There isn't any better place I can move, so let's just do it. Okay, unlucky. That's okay. I mean, maybe maybe I, c I could have probably done it differently. Because, uh... We didn't get revealed yet, so... I can go in overdrive. Am I still in strike distance for other... Yeah, I am. So let's go in overdrive. Where I can take the shot and then strike the purifier. Actually, no, I don't want to strike the purifier yet, right? Because... Oh, how high are these dodge chances? I'm just missing everything. I can insanity uh, that, but I don't know if I want to.
I think I'll run up and try and kill this uh, purifier here with the Andromedon. And I'm going to take the shot rather than hit as the shot has uh, armor shred, but uh, didn't work, sadly. I think now is probably a good time to try and... I mean, I don't know. Can you see anything? 63% chance, 43% chance. Mm, yeah, I don't really like that. I can Void Rift. I really would like to kill that elite Lancer, or that, yeah, that Lancer. 63% chance though, so I, I don't know. Like, I could take this shot here, but like, you know, what does that even do? I don't think it's worth. I don't think there's any way to hit... Oh, wait, but if I do this, it does hit below and above? I can't really tell if it does anything above. Let's just do this then, see what happens. Because we have two... Uh... Okay, well, that didn't look like it was going to land there. Let's just move up the slightest amount and then see if we have any better chance shots. Let's take the lightning hands, just, you know, in case it hits. Okay, it didn't. I probably could have been playing this much better. Problem becomes, right? If I... Let's just take the shot. I think this Elite Lancer is the thing that needs to die, because I could just take this... Oh! Okay, well, yeah, sure, that works. If it, like, you know, didn't hit, it would have done at least three damage, and the, uh, the Reaper could have, um, finished it off. Yeah, I don't care about damaging the Andromedon. Okay, and then I think we probably kill this Codex. Unless we can Soul Fire this one. Yeah, let's Soul Fire this one so we, you know, confirm this kill. I hope we're not too close in range to where, uh... You know, the Purifier is going to firebomb us. We can't strike it, so let's just, uh, take this shot. Reaper is still hidden, so hope I don't think it should see the, uh, the firebomb, right? I hope not. Okay, Purifier is running all the way back. Or sorry, not Purifier, the Priest is running all the way back. Oh, that gets rid of the mind control? Okay, good thing I did that then. Now, what do I do here? I think I probably run down and flank this, uh, I mean, right, the... The priest is the number one, like, priority that we have to kill. Can you grapple across this bridge? No, you can't. So yeah, just run down and kill the uh, priest. Reloading. Or sorry, not the, the purifier. I keep messing messing up their names. That isn't the best chance shot, but I don't think anyone else has a better shot, right? Okay, yep, there's the explosion that we were had to be wary about. Let's just take this. 
That's fine. Still does three damage, which is more than enough. Actually, can the mech kill now? No, still one more HP. Hmm. But it destroyed his cover, which actually might be enough to, uh... Never mind, you can't kill any of those things, because it was looking at the Andromedon, not the priest. Moving as ordered. Let's see. If I take this shot, we're hollow targeted Oh! Okay, well, sure, that could work. I should maybe should have done Sting, but actually, no, it's, it's fine if you get revealed. It shouldn't be that big of a problem. And then let's strike to kill this priest here. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to see. <sighs> okay. This just made things much harder. Oh, great. And of course the priest gets sustained. I was wondering how it survived. I was like, did I just mess up something? No, it's just... This really sucks. Aid protocol? Uh, guts. Because you're gonna get shot at a lot. Hopefully that should deter them from shooting at him, like, at all. But I don't know. Are you going to the Reaper? No. Yeah, you are going to the Reaper. Okay, that needs- that's, uh, it's a bit scary. Oh, you killed! Let's go! So put him in second phase, he doesn't get a turn this turn. Okay, Holy Warrior, but that's... If I kill... No, I have to kill the unit, not the priest. Actually, I can't remember. Okay, yeah, that's the AoE that's gonna be used here. Oh, Untouchable. Okay, so the only person to attack was the uh, Andromedon. That does not look good, though. The fact that they bring back two Psy Zombies? Okay, both these Sectoids should use Psionics here as well. If I can kill this Priest, then it should be okay. Yeah, don't worry, we can- we can deal with this. That's a 100% chance, that's a 100%... I think this is probably the best 100% chance I can take. Eight to 10, how much HP do you have? You have eight exactly, so it will kill no matter what. If I Deadeye here, can this kill? No, it can't. Even if I high roll, it's not going to. The thing is, I think the next best shot after this is probably to try and kill the gatekeeper, but I don't think we can do that, so... Just kill the sectoid. Yes. Unless... Where's Loki at? Okay, over here. Insanity. What can I cause insanity on? Mmm, never mind. The Void Rift, though, might be good. If I was slightly closer, I could get it. Okay, I think this proves that I do have to kill the Sectoid. As for anyone to move, it's, uh, I have to do that. It, we do lose out on a lot of damage, but it's just, uh, yeah, sucks. Like, uh, it, we have to kill that Sectoid. So, wait, Holy Warrior? What does Holy Warrior do? Um... Yeah, if priest is killed- okay, yeah, 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 okay. So we just killed this priest here, then. Who do we kill it with, though?
We don't have haywire protocol here. Oh, we do. Wait, what? Why is it over here in green? I don't get that. We have the Skulljack we could have probably used early on, but it's fine. Okay, yeah, shut him down. I maybe could have tried to take control since it was a 60% chance, but... And we could have killed it, but yeah. And you know, it would be fun to take control of the Andromedon again. Oh, you get another shot! Okay, okay, wait, this is insane. I forgot about that, because death from above, and then plus the fact that, uh... You know, you get, um... A shot when you get a kill on high ground. Or you get a free action when you get a kill on high ground. What really sucks, though, is that we have no cover anywhere. So what are we going to take a shot after... Or next... Or... I don't think anyone else can really go for the priest, right? Yeah, we can't, so it has to be done. Affirmative. Wait, what was that? What's the point of that? I'm sorry, what? How is this not a flank? Explain to me, game, how this is not a flank. Thank you for hitting that. I was going to be so mad. There's no way that's high cover there. My oh, you know what? This is a perfect time for Banish, actually. Yeah, let's reload and then Banish. I need to reload. Uh, where are you at? Right here. You are banished. Because, uh... <laughs> You know, each shot is like a 15% chance to execute, and we get, what, six shots? So, there we go. Executed. That's exactly what we wanted. Then I think we just go up and try and kill this thing. On your order. Nice, 10 damage. And... 100% chance again. Uh, I get. I think that's. Is that everything? So we got two here. We killed four, um, and then three back here. Yeah, that's every single enemy. So I don't think there should be any more uh, until uh, they call on reinforcements. So I think they should do at some point. All right, I'll go. Okay. Yeah. Pick up the stuff just to see what we have. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, look, that's our poster. And let's get Guts to open this, uh, this door. Or actually, wait, where's Cypher at? We should probably have Cypher try to hack the door. As, uh, you know, higher percentage chance to hack stuff. Um, so we might get better loot. Uh, oh, that would be good. Yep. Just, okay, increase hack stat permanently by 20. So I think that's probably your your best hacker then, which is crazy, because I originally wanted you to be our medic. Alright, there's the VIP. And let's, uh, let's head to evac. Uh, wow, everyone has to go all the way to these stairs over there. Or I guess we could go to this ladder as well. It's not a... Doesn't matter where we go. I can handle that. It only took you two shots to execute the thing. Uh, Let's not worry about reloading until we absolutely have to. Or you know what? No, because we have grapple, so we could just go to high ground now. 
It's, it sucks that all the stairs got blown out here. Uh, do I want to take the free reload now? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a free reload. It can do it at any time. Oh, okay. Well, there's stuff coming down here. Uh, can he? Where's, where do I, how do I get up here? Oh, I have to go all the way around? Okay. I think that's the only way I can make it. Uh, still no way up. Yeah, I have to go all the way around. Wow, this is a long way to go. Like, I have the turns to work with, but it's just kind of annoying. Do we all just go on Overwatch? I think we can. I'm on it. Uh, King can go on dude, could kill zone actually. Is there any high ground somewhere? Hmm, no, nowhere where I can go like instantly. It it's not the most ideal place, but it'll have to. That it'll have to do. Okay, where's I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Cipher. Did I kill zone with you yet? No. So let's do it right now. I think that hits everything. Let's have uh, Raven going to Shadow. Of course there are civilians there to just absolutely make it impossible to get past. Like, how would I know to be checking the civilians all the time? Okay, we have to be careful that this purifier doesn't blow up on us. That's the only thing I'm worried about right now. Okay, I think this priest dies. Okay, unless we all miss. Okay, well, I guess we all miss against the priest somehow. Okay, the Lancer makes it difficult. I didn't realize the Lancer had that much dodge chance. Okay, 10 damage, good. We could probably kill all three of them. Where's this guy at? Can you evac? Yes, you can. Head out, now. I think I move here to get this flank shot. Everyone can probably go get kills on their own. There, okay, so that's three damage. Um, I might be able to get another off here. Hopefully it does five. Actually, I can have another free reload, right? Yes, I do. I think this is the last one. I might, I'm not sure. And what's the percentage? Oh, it's still 100%. Yeah, let's just take it. Nice. 12 damage. Oh yeah, I forget. King has AP rounds. I sure could have taken that shot against the gatekeeper. Let's shoot at the purifier. There we go. Get more XP on uh, guts. I mean, I could skull mine it. Actually, is it worth? Wait, you are. Yeah, you're Colonel, so it's not worth your Colonel as well. I guess King is going to try and take the shot again. See if uh, you could just get more XP for yourself. Three rounds, or uh, three damage, unlucky. I guess uh, someone else is going to try and get the hit, or get the kill. Ah, and of course he goes into stasis, man. Why wouldn't he? You know, this might be the perfect place for uh, Raven to come and deal with it. Okay, I'm gonna start moving other people, though, to the evac, though, because we don't want to be 
killing units forever as we still have that seven turn timer. Wait, can I skull mine while you're in stasis? I'm gonna try. I don't think I can, but you know, good to experiment. Okay, no, you can't. J you know, just making sure. Uh, let's just Overwatch. Actually, no, hunker down because I don't know what. Uh, like, I, I would like someone who is not Colonel to get the kill. Good thing our range- Hey, Exil! Sorry, I didn't, uh, didn't see your message. Alright, I think finally we kill with, uh, Raven here. Uh, how's everything been recently? Okay, no reveal- Wow, that's barely not revealed, but- Good. Uh, thank you, nbronze15, for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. No, everything's been good. Just, uh, just chilling. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Um, anything of new to report? No, not really. It's been, uh, you know, just slowly getting there. This playthrough has been good. You know, uh, it seems like a 10-15 is going to be the one. I'm not going to extract with this guy yet. Okay, stasis ended for Fury. Now let's just try and leave. Have you been doing anything with uh, Hollow Knight? I haven't checked recently. Or still, uh, still not really, still like taking a break. From like uh, everything, or like, are you just you know, maybe you're done entirely? I don't know how you uh, feel about it. Got it moving. I'm gonna go on Overwatch here. I'm gonna move Loki out of the you know evac zone just so we don't get this every time. Wow, we have to move our units so far. I didn't even realize how far it was. Can we all make it? I'm on the move. Yeah, Fury can probably grapple, right? Yeah, okay, we can all make it then. Grappling. On the move. Okay, that's everything. And Cypher, move up. Alright, uh, everyone can evac. And, uh, good... Did we get hit once? We got mind-controlled. But did we get hit? I don't think so. Yeah, flawless. That's what we like to see. And that's good because, uh, you know, we... Especially uh, Guts, we don't want him getting hit again. Uh, to... Um, you know... Increase the amount of time he's wounded for. Uh, we're gonna take Wrecking Ball over here. <laughs> here we go. And yeah, most cohesion. Okay, so those guys are still. Uh, you were still getting bonds. You and your crew have dealt another. Uh, new staff acquired. Yeah, we definitely needed this. Um. I think, you know what, since we still have so many people available, we can go straight to uh, another mission. Because now it's late game, we don't really need to be scanning for anything, and we just have missions to do. But we do have a lot of people tired, though. I mean, I think that was the same thing before? Let's, let's do, let's, is there anything that takes three days to scan? Um... No, does not look like it. But I do want to go down there. Uh, to fight the Berserker Queen, hopefully. 
Actually, wait. If I'm gonna fight the Berserker Queen, I want to get... Um... Uh, oh, okay, Raven, you're not even tired. Okay, that's great. So literally, I just need an entire squad to be ready. So just four people. And then I can go do that mission down there. Sold, if I'll gain a soldier by doing that. Let's head over here to gain intel. So we at least get whatever little amount we do get. It's at least, you know, something. Oh, okay. I'll just watch this cutscene. The only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander, Central, the Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black Site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can. In a way, by manipulating the new avatar via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That was different. The stasis suit. Created the perfect interface to the network. One tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you. And our only option to traverse the alien portal. We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door. Which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. Okay. Uh, so that's the Avatar autopsy done. Um, I don't think there's anything else, right? Oh yeah, that's the archives. Uh, where is it? No shadow products available. And at the same time, we have no research to do. Um, oh, we do. Never mind, I lied. Oh yeah, the Warlock weapon. Okay, yeah, let's do this right now. It's only three, three days. Oh, okay. in rebuilding the resistance network and uncovering the truth about the avatar project have been admirable i only wish i had better news to report when does he ever advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their avatar project a plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy, a final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. 
The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth. Before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. Being the coolest person, as always, council goes down like that. I've updated our um, all right. So, how much time do we have? I can't remember if we, like, have a... Okay, yeah, there's this thing. Wait, what is this? Intel options, individual squad, wide individual concealment. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, so I won't do... Oh, really? We have to make contact with this area? Uh, how much... I'm gonna need more contacts then. Why did they add everything, like, on this side? It's like I have to go across the entire map. Meaning I have to uh, upgrade our resistance comms. I think... We, or unless we are... Yeah, we have already upgraded it. Um... Okay, so... How do I do this, then? Because... Okay, yeah. So I have to go through down here. Through New Australia, New Chile, and then uh, New Brazil. That's the... That's the way I do it. Oh, actually, wait. No, no, no. I don't even need to make contact. I can just launch the mission whenever I want. Okay, that's good. But the two things I want to do... Kill the Berserker Queen. Kill the Assassin. Those are the two things I want to do. Um, so I said we're just gonna, you know, fight the, uh, go down here to this facility, so let's do that. Oh, but first I wanted to, yeah. When, uh, Adonis finishes this training, that's when we'll go down. There we go. We'll continue training for, uh, sustain, but we'll be taking him in the next mission. There are only seven enemies, but, you know, one of them is, uh, an incredibly strong one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? We're taking Guts, and we're taking Raven. Those are the two we're definitely, like, you know, we need those. Um, who else are we taking? We want to be, uh, you know, promoting people whenever possible. So we might take King again. And I think we'll take uh, Wildling, probably. But then other than that, we don't have anyone else. I mean, we have a Brexus, but he's still tired. So I'm, I'm really afraid of taking tired people. So I'll take the two people that are not tired, uh, that are Colonels. I mean, I could take... Uh, um... Loki as well, but I don't know if I will. You can... I think I'll take the Shredder gun. Wait, I just want to... What enemies do we have again? We have, um... A Elite Spectre, Archon, Gatekeeper, Elite Purifier, Elite Lancer. So we definitely want the... Uh, Archon suit. Someone's definitely taking this, and I think it'll honestly stay with you, as uh, you're gonna be the one that probably needs to move all the time. And we want to actually be in range of the Archon so they get the chance of getting panicked. Let's make armor available. I can't remember if we want to do anything else. Soldier abilities. If this is gonna be on you to carry, uh, Raven. We're gonna definitely take, uh, I don't know what grenades, but we're taking some. 
Uh, we need grenades that damage the Berserker Queen over multiple turns. I mean, ideally, obviously, Banish will execute uh, entirely, and then we won't need to worry about that ever again, but, you know, it has a chance of not happening. There's... Yeah, there is a Spectre, but I don't think he takes damage from blue screen rounds. I don't think it takes damage from blue screen rounds. You take a Smoke Bomb. It's fine with me. And then you'll probably take do the same thing. Take a Skulljack and take a Med Kit. Take the AP rounds as it shreds through the armor. Then what else do I want? Maybe instead I'll replace this for the... What do I even replace it for? Okay, wait, no. This is what we're doing. You're going to take the Frost Bomb. Because Berserker Queen, the Berserker Queen will get close enough most of the time. I lied. I'm lying. Okay, let's... The reason why we want to, you know, have our grenades is because we want the extra... We want to try and make use of the extra range that the... Uh, Grenadier has. Yeah. Just like this. Now the question is, do I prefer to have the incendiary? No. Instead of acid, take the gas bomb. As that is a bigger range, and since you don't have, you know, the Grenadier's increased range, it might be better for you to take. And you know what, you can have the gas bomb. I think this looks good to me. Right, there's nothing else that we need. The main problem is going to be the gatekeeper. Like, I mean, other than the... Uh, Berserker Queen, but I think we'll be able to one-shot it, hopefully. Because, you know, six shots... Uh, 15% chance to kill your target with each shot, so... Odds should be in my favor there. Let's go. Actually, wait. Do I want the Serpent Vest on someone? Or the Serpent, uh, suit? No, because I like all this utility that I have. Okay, so yeah, we'll stick with this. Let's begin the mission. We are moving to take out a high security advent installation operating out of this region. Intel from the resistance suggests this facility is conducting research critical to the Avatar. Okay. We want to be removing Raven up first, just so we scout out the area and we, you know, see where everything is. Ideally, we want to engage the Berserker Queen first, so we, you know, like, in case we don't kill, we have all our utility for that. That is where the, uh, you know, facility is, but I do want to explore up here first to see if there could be stuff. Um, well, it seems like there is. Okay, we don't want to go there, then. Let's run up, then. Moving to position. Well, this is a similar layout I had in the other facility. So there shouldn't be anything down here. If anything, there could be two pods up above. So we need to watch out for that. Where should I? Yeah, just behind this tree, I think, is the safest bet. Getting it done. Uh, the spark can get revealed easily, so I'm going to watch out here. Moving out. Good copy. Moving on down. Oh, I forgot to give him the good sniper rifle. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's fine. It's still a plasma lance, but uh, kind of sucks. Because now, like, he's gonna have to have, uh, both, um, actions to shoot the sniper. Okay, what can we remote start? Just that car? 
I'm on the move. Uh, nothing over this way. If anything, I can claim more that. Why is there so much space over here? Yeah, so it does seem like uh, she's going to appear up there. I'll move up here. Understood. Moving out. Still nothing. Hmm. I really hope we don't engage because it, that means the gatekeeper is in the other pod. So I really hope we don't engage the gatekeeper at the same time. Unless now that I think about it, what if we... What if she's not in this one? Because there's only seven enemies, right? I think I saw there were six... Things. Or I, I'm not sure. Moving to designated coordinates. Heading to that location. I could go to high ground. It doesn't seem like I'll get revealed by moving over here. So let's do that. Okay. Yeah, it's good to be on high ground. And I want you in position now since you can't really go anywhere. I guess we just stay here. If we don't see anything new, yeah, I'll just engage these guys. Because they're not moving at all, so everyone else can go on Overwatch again as, uh, you know, I, I don't want to reveal anything. But you know what? I can kill Zone next uh, round as well. All right, yeah, they're not moving, so this is a free shrapnel, or free claymore. I hope uh, I don't get revealed. I mean, if anything, I could just go back into shadow. It's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, where is... King at? Oh, wait, did I not take... <coughs> Whoa. Did I not take the, uh, um, like the, what's it called? The, the shredder gun. I guess I didn't. Okay. I think I can start off with this. Cause we get two explosions and we also, uh, you know, get kill zone off. So, we have the potential of killing all three of them here. Alright, that's one. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. And then, we're not going to be able to kill the Spectre because he has, uh... Um... Lightning reflexes. So even if it does hit, it isn't actually going to hit. Because it misses the first overall shot every time. Yeah. Okay. Not the worst in the world. We can still do with this. Deal with this. Let's see. I can go for the Spectre or go for the Archon. Do I want to Sting? Do I want a guaranteed remain in... Yes. I think I do. Ah, still doesn't kill. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess that's why we wanted to, you know, do that. Can we see anyone? We can't see them from here. And because you don't have the good gun, it's not like you can guaranteed kill no matter what. Oh, well, I mean, but you just get the kill anyway, so that's fine. That works with me. Now what do I do? Mm. 
Well, my entire reason for bringing the, uh... The Archon- I can't remember what the suit was called. I'm just gonna call it the Archon suit. Uh... It's gone now, so that kind of, like, you know... I mean, it doesn't suck, because it's still a good thing to have, but still. I could run and gun and just kill here. Then let's, uh, oh, it's a 100% chance, yeah. Three kills. So that's three of the, uh, seven enemies. Yeah, three of the seven enemies, that's correct. Okay, so where do I go now? Oh, okay, so we see one pot in here. Where is... Okay, yeah, the target is here. Man, I just... I don't know where anything is. I really don't like this position at all. It's just... Having to go on high ground. I'm gonna keep wilding back in concealment. And sprint up. I'm not going to climb up with anyone other than the people that are concealed, as I'm afraid of what can be up there. Or what, you know, angles I'll be playing at. Uh, let's just get a reload off. Better to be at max ammo. This building can't be set on fire, right? Or at least, I'm just going to move up just the tiniest bit, just in case this roof collapses. Or this part collapses. Oh, yep, there she is. And you shredded the armor, nice. Okay. All the aliens running around out there these days. She just had to modify a bazaar. Kinda sucks our Reaper's on the opposite side of the thing though. Although I agree it was perhaps not the most prudent of choices. This is the shot we've been waiting for. Take that thing down before And it's hollow targeted, so we get the hollow targeting like next turn against this thing. Okay. It sucks that we don't have a... Uh... Oh... Mmm... You know, and you're not teamwork with anyone. I think I'm gonna be forced to reveal myself with the Reaper, as the Reaper here. Let's see. Okay, one. I saw achievements, so I think it's good. Yep, there it is. It does reveal myself and anger this pod, but I think it was the best thing to try and do, just get rid of it now, so I'm not worried about it later on. Okay, we're gonna aid protocol Raven now. Oh, that would be good to get. But I would like to remote start it if possible. And we picked up some new gear in the process. Not a bad haul, Let's see, so the purifier, lancer, and hmm. Acid or discharge. What's the range of this? Not very far. Can I kill anything? I don't think so. Let's just try a regular shot. Let's try it this Lancer. I think that's probably the most important thing to kill right now. Four damage, but we destroyed his cover. So, that's I think what matters. Oh, we have a Frost Bomb! Yeah, okay, okay. This is the perfect time to use it. Can I hit all three of them? No, I can't. What's the most important thing to get? Is there an angle? I feel like there's an angle I can hit two of them. Mm, no, 
never mind. Does not seem to be the case. I could launch it at the gatekeeper, but I don't know. I could overdrive and just have uh, Guts run in and draw fire. That could be good. So now it's, you should be in range to strike this Lancer, right? Yes, you are. Let's see. Is there any optimal angle? Probably just far away from my other units. So let's do this. You run so far with that extra movement just to get that hit off. Okay, and it does kill. Can you pick up loot? I don't think so. Does not look like it. Okay. Oh, you can! Let's go. I can handle that. Now, what's the next thing we do here? I think we can throw a frost bomb. It is so close to being able to hit them both, but it, it, it can't. Getting one less action on the gatekeeper, in my opinion, is more important than canceling the turn of the purifier. Because the purifier isn't really going to do anything, to be honest. Moving on target location. Is that revealed, really? Oh no, okay, you just don't have anything else to do. Oh, you actually have a chance of killing it here. Let's just try it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, did he do damage to the mech, though? Well, how about that? Uh, never mind, it didn't. Okay, yeah, so it is going to use the AoE. Uh, it's going to hit four people. Oh, okay, but one one's untouchable at least. We can kill it this turn. Okay, you do need to reload first. But we can kill it. First, we're going to try and shred the armor. Uh, actually, wait, no. You have Shredder anyway, so T-Rex is going to try and... First, not get in a or not be in a flank position and then hit because it also has hollow targeting. Like, she also has target ho hollow targeting, which would increase the aim of everyone else. So, even if it misses, everyone else has better percentage chances to hit. Yeah, there we go 100% now. Three armor shred, good. Ah, oh, but are you gonna? Put get three or more armor back, right? Yeah. I think we just go lightning hands into just taking a shot. Because, you know, this is the only time really you're gonna try to get a hit off. Is this- is Guts in range to get damage? No, it does not- I don't think so. Nice crit! Okay, everyone who can get the kill is, uh, um, like, not a colonel, so it's pretty good. Uh, like, you know, just anyone can get the kill. Okay, and then now we just, uh, you know, set up these X4 charges for next turn, and then get everyone in position to be evac Okay. So what is the range that can run here? Can you get the high ground? You can. So let's just put this high ground. The evac point. So we can we don't need to worry about uh you know any enemies being called down and we have to worry about killing them. Menace 
1-5. Status confirmed. X-4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate... Okay, King, just evac here. Let's go. Another good mission. And we did kill the Berserker Queen, so we ha now have that to research. What sucks, though, is that kind of... Oh. Okay, I thought I accidentally went to Overwatch instead of, uh... You know, um... Evacking. Which I guess wouldn't have mattered, because I'd still be able to evac, but still. Let's go, 9 out of 9 enemies killed. Uh, that, oh yeah, that number increased because of the Psy, stole, like, enemies that got reanimated. How'd you get the robot unit? Um, it should be, like, one, um, like you unlock in the, in the game. Like, you get it with, uh, Alien Hunters DLC. Uh, and then, here, I can show you. Here, Proving Ground, um, the Spark, this one, um, it's two Illyrium cores, a hundred supplies, two alien alloys, five Illyrium crystals. Um, in, if you have War of the Chosen, then it should just be, like, you know, unlocked automatically, but I think if you don't have War of the Chosen, it's, uh, you have to do a mission to unlock it. And then, uh, after you can build it. And then, you know, of course you need to upgrade it with, uh, the other armors and stuff, just like regular, uh, soldiers. Like, you know, how you go through mag weapons and then plasma weapons. It's the same thing for the spark. And, of course, the armor is also, uh, the same way. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's only through the, through the proving ground. Or, it's, uh, yeah, proving ground. Looks like we finally got a shot at breaking Advent's propaganda machine once and for all. It won't be easy, but we'll see um, through to the end. No okay, 18 us. days, still, uh, wounded. Like, here, I, can, I think I can, if I go in my memorial, uh, yeah. So you see, you know, they look different, because this is, like, the weaker version of the spark before they get, like, you know, the upgraded, uh, chassis and all that. Um, who is wounded? We can probably... I'll wait a week, I think, and then I'll see if I can take on that assassin. We also have the, uh, Berserker Queen uh, armor, the Rage Suit, I think it was called, to get... If you, uh, you just lose the game, uh, if I remember properly. I can't, like, I haven't, I don't know the exact, you know, way you lose it, but I, I'm pretty sure it's just, like, if you, like, if you let the Avatar project complete, and then let, there's a timer, like, I think it's, like, a 12-day timer, um, if you let it tick down, you just lose the game. Oh, interception. Oh, begin evasive maneuvers. <laughs> I mean, I've, it's, I've never, uh, you know, seen it before. Oh, wait, what happened? The UFO was just stuck there? Like, I've never seen it before, but that's what I've heard. All right, what's, uh, what's happening here? Time, time is just ticking. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna be doing this, uh, base defense mission. Shouldn't be too long, I don't think, though. Cause, uh, there's a way to... I don't know if it's considered a... I mean, yeah, it's considered cheesing, probably. But... You know what? It's in the game, I'm gonna use it.
With how fast they're falling, I'm surprised, you know, that they survive it. Someone get me a damage report. We've got a problem. Only one? They've just dropped some sort of spike outside. It's generating the same type of pulse that knocked us out of the sky. They don't want us. They want the ship. Isn't there some way you can override it? Not from here. I can't get our engines online while it's out there. Commander, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Destroying that spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship. We're going down, Commander. Okay. Let's begin the mission. What do we... Okay, I don't think I want to take uh, Guts out yet in case they he gets uh, rolled. The only two units I need are Raven and... Uh, I guess I'll take King. It doesn't matter. I'll take two sharpshooters just in case. It, I know you guys are tired, but this is the best we can do. And then I guess uh, Loki. I don't think... I mean... I, I should uh, prep my units in case things go south. Like, even though it shouldn't take that long, uh, to, you know... Uh, do have the, I do have the psionic unit um, over here. Uh, soldier abilities. I, I'm still, like, building him, but he's... I, I think about halfway done is, is about right. A little over halfway. Um, yeah. That he's my only psionic unit I have, though. Uh, I know you can, like, do multiple, but I, I've only built up one. Uh, let's see what I want. Let's do smoke bomb. Uh, I'm fine with that. You can have a regular... Actually, no, not a regular grenade. Acid bomb. I'm not really too concerned about... Uh, Actually, yeah, no, you can keep AP rounds. I should put something else on the skirmisher here. On Reckoner. Sure has my best. Then Loki can go... I don't know. Blue screen rounds? Sure. Uh, yeah, let's take this. It shouldn't be too long to finish this mission. How far are you in your uh, playthrough, uh, and bronze? Or I, I don't know, what would you prefer me call you? Or yeah. Oh, that's okay. I've never seen it like you know inside of a house type area before. It's like fenced off. I know it, like, you know, means absolutely nothing, but, like, you know, it, it's a bit cooler than just having it out in the open. Okay, so, yeah, there's a mech and a, uh, officer there. Are we in range of this thing yet? No. I have to make sure my units are in range, so we have to kind of, like... Put them down here. I think they should- actually no, probably don't need to move that far. I'll just set them up at the border, and I, I won't move more than I have to. Oh, you haven't built the resistance comms yet. How much is, uh, like how long? Um, until it completes. Okay, they are running over this way. Oh, hello, Stormwalker. One weekend game? Ah, uh, it's still doable. Okay, you can see this, so just fire the sniper rifle at it. 
about. Yeah, I think uh, it's still possible. Like, uh, there are many different ways to, you know, reduce it. Um, the main thing is through... I mean, yeah. If you, like, you know, do something, like, you know, story mode-wise, uh, you can probably decrease it. If you can, um... I don't know if you have War of the Chosen, but if you have, like, a project, um, like, or covert op to, you know, reduce it, you can. Um, then you also, uh, what am I trying to say? You know, can also just assault the facility. Okay, if we can get our Reaper back in time, it's completely fine. Okay, I guess we're just waiting. Is everyone gonna have to go through their overwatch? I hope not. Maybe I didn't overwatch with everyone, I can't remember. Seven damage? I mean, like, these damage things, like, really don't really matter. Because, uh... I'm just gonna... Run. I think... Uh, I can get back in time with Raven. I revealed, like, three different pods, so I really... Don't want to fight this. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think we can get out. Says I am to obey. Is that everyone? Our recover soldiers. Zero soldiers remaining. All right, let's leave. Excellent work, Commander. Looks like the Avenger lives to fight another day. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies. <laughs> Good thing I don't need to fight any of them. Fear of fire, fear of chosen, overly aggressive. Okay, well then. Seems like sending people out uh, wasn't really the best idea. But you know what? It's okay. We can make do with this. It'll seriously take five days to get rid of their negative traits, though, so... Not what you like to see. Five days each. And I really would have liked to be done with this within the next, like, couple days. I mean, maybe not a couple days, but like two weeks or so. Which I guess is still possible. Let's gather the assorted loot again. I think I might have enough intel to just do that last mission. Okay. Warlock weapon. Oh. Ma minor breakthrough. So is that one or two things? I can't remember. Uh, one. Okay, yeah, just one. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Okay, that's fine. Um, do we have... You know what? I don't think we really need any other covert actions, like, to do ever again. So I'm just gonna keep my soldiers in the... In the Avenger. I, there's no reason to me, for me to be sending them out again. Oh, I can inc improve a soldier bond, though. Let's do that. It's only three days, so... It's not a, not a huge invest, investment. Warlock weapon is done. Improve swords, and let's do the Berserker Queen Autopsy. Wow, she looks exactly like a Berserker. At least, the, you know, the Serpent and the, uh, like, Archon looks slightly different. But this looks literally just like a Berserker. <laughs> yeah, look at the feet. 
Look at them just like in your face. If we can disrupt the advent dampening fields and their net uh, we stand a Let's continue scanning. Uh, alien Cypher. Okay, that's fine. Gorilla Ops. Alright, I think I'll just set up for this and then I'll call it for today. What do I want? The Intel? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Eastern Europe. 240 supplies. I really don't care about the supplies, but the Intel I can still use. So let's hope I can do this flawlessly. Are there any psionic enemies in this? Uh, elite Spectre, Archon, Elite Priest, Elite Trooper, Heavy Mech. So there's one. So it might be worth to take uh, the Disruptor Rifle on someone. Okay, negative trait recovery, bond training. Let's just take everyone who is available. Uh, how much? It's only 4 HP. Oh, I'll take you again. What's your favorite class? Hmm. Let's see. It's really hard to say. There's a lot of fun classes. I really... Okay, let's see. I don't think... It's not Specialist. It's not... Uh, it's not Sparks. It's not... Um, hmm. I think Templars are really fun. And... Actually, yeah, probably Templars. Because, like, each class has their most has like, like a really fun aspect about them like you know rangers you can one run up and one shot someone snipers you can um you know do tons of damage and like uh wipe out entire things but i feel like templars can do that as well the, you know G uh especially with my uh, templar i have i got reaper on him so i can uh you know run around kill everything basically uh and then with Arc Wave, it allows for more AoE. So yeah, I think Templars, but late game Templars are my favorite class. Early game Templars are not fun at all. I mean, they're not, they're not bad, but they're not. You kind of just do the same thing on them over and over again. How do I want to do? Oh yeah, yeah. So I want the. Let's make weapons available. Remember to do that. I think now I could take the Shredder Gun. Oh yeah, Disruptor Rifle. That's gonna go on someone. Bolt Caster here. Reapers? Uh, what is... I like the Dominance. Yeah. Psionic, yeah, Psionics are probably my second favorite. Um, if, if it was like the base game alone, I would... You know... Uh... Probably say Psionics are my favorite by... Or Psionic classes are my favorite by far. But, um... The new, um, the new classes really are so interesting to work with. I don't want us to do this. I put hazmat fest as well, but I think just a lot of stuff, you know, is just really fun. Having a gunslinger, you know, and then using face off on everyone is super fun. Um, you know, and fan f just like using all your pistol shots is really cool. Um, Specialist being able to like hack a robot and stuff, uh, potentially take it over. That's really cool. There's a lot of good things, I think, uh, about a lot of the classes. Let's see, I'll take AP rounds here. I have to think about what grenades I want as well. I'm going to take a gas bomb here. Yeah. 
There are other side. There's a priest, but I don't think I'll really need anything. I'll take blue screens, because why not? And incendiary. Is this what I want? Is this a good squad? Destroy the alien relay. Um, yeah, I think this is my squad. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I think, what is my favorite thing early game to use? Probably rangers are my favorite thing early game to use because the RNG, it's so much harder. The way you play them, it's so much harder for RNG to screw you over. Okay, I have to make sure I put good guns on people. Yes, 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 yes. I don't think I put the Shadow Keeper on you yet, did I? Oh, I did. Wait, I forgot pa Shadow Fall was a pistol shot that was guaranteed to hit. I always was like in, uh, taking an RNG to it every time. Well, it would be that's good to know for the future. Um, yeah, I think uh, this is what I'll go with next time. So hopefully, um, tomorrow I'll be able to do this gorilla op mission and then um, go straight into the assassin stronghold. Those are the two things I think I'll plan on. I plan on doing. As long as this entire squad doesn't get injured a ton Commander, and we still have people available but you know there are oh never mind not as many tired people as i thought we don't need a covert action um but yeah all right uh i think that is it for me thanks to anyone who stopped by during the stream i uh, appreciate it and i'll be back with more xcom uh, tomorrow all right yeah bye everyone